This is the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 15th of February. James Spann here. Hey, we're coming to Pleasant Grove tomorrow night. It's the annual Severe Weather Awareness Tour across the state. Storm Alert 2012 will be at Pleasant Grove High School. And we kick it off at 6.30. We'll share some really uh, riveting stories from last April 27th, our generational tornado outbreak. We'll have the uh, memorial there that uh, has the names of all 252 people that died. Pretty powerful stuff. So bring the whole family and we'll see you there. Uh, ooh, look at that sunset. Nice. That is from Gulf Shores. Yesterday, our sky came atop the Phoenix All Suites. Just beautiful. And you know, this is right at the end of the time where the sun goes down over the water. Uh, in fact, in about five days, that sun will be going down over land all the way through summer. As the days stretch on out, the sun angle gets higher. This morning, there's the Jasper Sky Cam in Walker County. A little fog around up in Haleyville. The view in Winston County. All right, there's the uh, shortwave trough coming at us from the west. We'll be bringing rain and storms back in here late tonight after midnight. Temperatures this morning, mostly upper 30s and low 40s. Birmingham at 39 at 5 o'clock. Here's our watch warning map. Uh, parts of central Alabama with a dense fog advisory this morning. Once that burns off, pretty decent day today. A, a mix of sun and clouds with a high in the upper 60s. The good news, the convective outlook area continues to shrink for today and tonight. Got a slight risk over Louisiana. In some of the adjacent states, all of Alabama is out of that risk as the uh, instability is very much in question and the dynamics, quite frankly, in question as well. And then tomorrow, just the low end 5% probabilities over parts of southeast Alabama and off to the east. And again, that would be after 6 a.m. tomorrow. Rain for the next five days, valid through the weekend, through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, suggesting about 1 to one and a half inches around here. That sounds about right. We'll have some rain to deal with over the weekend as well. This is the 06 EGFS, the global forecast system at noon today. 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Energy coming across the southern plains. Energy back over Texas. And down below that, rain breaks out today west of the state. A relatively weak surface low west of Oklahoma City. And again, we warm up nicely. We'll be in the... Uh, Upper 60s today. Um, although, having said that, it, it, if the sun doesn't break out, it won't be that warm, but we assume it will. Uh, the NAM is suggesting it might be cloudy much of the day with low 60s. So we'll see who wins that. But for now, we'll be more optimistic. Here's a look at uh, noon tomorrow in the GFS, a little slower. But let's look at the RPM. It's a high resolution model that often is pretty good. This is uh, valid after midnight tonight. This is at 3 a.m. tomorrow. And you can see there, there's going to be some convection, but most of that you see in the Tennessee Valley should be elevated. Uh, this is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Pretty good chance you'll be driving to work in the rain tomorrow. And then 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, the RPM wants to flare some convection to the south of here. And again, there could be a strong storm. There's no doubt about that. But again, with the limited dynamics, we just don't expect severe weather to be a big issue. And there's 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, still raining down at Dothan, but the rain around here is long gone. This is the instability, and actually on this run, it is a little higher. This is valid tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, and this is suggesting perhaps a little instability of 500 joules or more. But again, the dynamics are just not that impressive. So uh, we'll keep an eye on things. Uh, you know how it goes. Expect the unexpected. You know what I'll say here. But again, a major severe weather problem does not seem likely. All right, on to Friday. Should be a nice day here. Partly sunny with low 60s. We note rain over the western Gulf. And then Saturday, energy is approaching and rain spreads into Alabama. And the GFS is in pretty good agreement with the European now. So uh, Saturday rain will be moving in during the day. And in terms of the timing, initially we looked at Saturday afternoon. This is suggesting we might see some rain Saturday morning. And clearly the heaviest rain should be on the Gulf Coast. And then Sunday, the rain is long gone. A deep surface low pretty far east of the United States East Coast. And this is suggesting no major winter weather for D.C. and uh, Baltimore. But let's check the European. This is Saturday at midday at 12 noon. Very similar to the GFS. 
Got a broad surface load near uh, the mouth of the Mississippi with rain over much of the state. So I just think Saturday we'll have to mention a chance of rain mu- you know, most of the day. Don't think it rains all day, but it could rain at any time, and the rain might begin Saturday morning. And then Sunday, this is at midday, the GFS not quite as far east as the, uh, or the European not quite as far east as the GFS. But again, it's got the cold air lagging, so no big middle Atlantic snowstorm. And the rain moving out of Alabama Sunday morning. Monday of next week, we are dry and pleasant. The GFS is forecasting uh, 61. And Tuesday, moisture begins to return. I guess you might mention a slight chance of some light rain there. And then Wednesday, a week from today, pretty good looking trough. And we go wet again. So this very active pattern continues, but a mild pattern. We'll go out there deeper in the month. How about the 26th of February? Look at that long wave trough. Big rain event, if this is right. Look at the cold air diving down into Texas. Maybe some snow around Memphis, if this is right. And again, you know, this comes and goes, but it's certainly possible. But this is not a big snow setup for Alabama. That's a big rain setup for us. Then it turns colder, if this is right. And let's check the 1st of March as the year rolls along. Can't believe we're looking here into the third month of the year already. And that's not a cold look, not a cold look at all. Trough to the west and uh, surface low around Trinidad, Colorado, and that would be very mild if this is right. There's the uh, NAO. A couple of members want to take it down, but uh, most of them do not. But you know what I'm going to say. I just We get the idea March might bring a shiver or two and maybe some mischief We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.